Hi, uh, AI Builder is a new application uh, for uh, creating custom document processing workflows. So if you're looking, for example, to uh, extract relevant information from um, you know, reports, invoices, receipts, bill of lading, uh, engineering documents, uh, you can actually do, easily do so by training a custom AI model and then integrate that into workflow and deploy it uh, without having to worry about uh, coding or uh, you know, creating complex infrastructure around it. So to do so, uh, you can uh, press new workflow here. So go here, press new workflow, demo workflow, press add. So here what you see is the, uh, the, the interface where you can build the workflow, it's like a Canva. Uh, so it's classified into three categories. So we have the import uh, section, the processing section, and the export. So the import, as the name uh, says it, so uh, this is, allows you to import your documents. So we have different modules for that. So there's the import uh, PDF modules, as well as uh, photos, uh, text files, CSV files. Uh, so let's say in this case, we're looking to extract uh, information from our invoices. So I'm interested basically to import PDFs and pictures. And then after that, I'm going to move to the processing. Uh, and here, these PDFs or pictures, they're obviously uh, not in digital format. Uh, they might come in like an uh, image format. In that case, we need to basically uh, parse the text from these documents. And for that, we do have a, a module for OCR. So you can connect it directly there. So the OCR will parse the text from your uh, documents here. And we have two options. So we have the Amazon Extract OCR as well as Google Vision OCR that you can use. Uh, second is, uh, after the OCR, I'm, I'm gonna, I would like to send the data to my trained model, my custom trained model. Uh, and here you can basically select what type of model would you like to use. Um, so uh, here I'm going to select the first one. Um, so these models have been already trained uh, using the UBI text annotation tool that you can easily transfer to the AI render. So now I'm going to connect the output of my OCR to the input of my model. Um, and then here I'm going to export my data. So this could be one workflow, which, which will pr pretty much do the um, extraction process of information from your documents. But actually, we have uh, other models they can use. Uh, for example, one of them that's uh, pretty uh, right now um, useful for many applications is the integration with large language model, like uh, GPT models. So in this case, we have actually integration with a ChatGPT model. Uh, so what this means here is you could send your data to ChatGPT. So let's say uh, you can send, for example, the output of your OCR or the output of your custom trained model, and you can send that to ChatGPT to do something about it, to give it an instruction. So to give an instruction, basically you press on ask here and ask it to do something about the data. So let's say, for example, we're interested to summarize what the invoice is about. So we can just say, Please um, summarize the document below. And here we give it the uh, variable input text, which pretty much this will take the output of our OCR and it will send it to the, uh, it will basically concaten concatenate it or add it to the prompt. Uh, the input data here will take the output of our model, which is the custom trained model, and it will add it to the prompt. So here we're going to call this uh, summarizer and press save. So that's it. So now I'm going to connect the output of that to my export and my workflow is pretty much done. So I'm going to press submit. I'm going to select um, review configuration. So I would like to review the data that is output from my model and then press submit. So once that's done, you are prompt to upload your files. So here I'm going to select my files. Uh, I'm going to select just one uh, invoice, which is an image and press submit. And that's it. So it's pretty simple. Uh, as you can see, there's no coding required or any, any building of infrastructure. So everything is done for, for you basically with just a few clicks. Um, so here, uh, once the processing, uh, so the processing is in progress right now, uh, once it's done, uh, we will be able to see with the output. Uh, so typically the output will look something like this. Uh, so you will have your uh, file or your image that you sent, and these are the information that has been extracted from it. Uh, so in this case, I trained the model specifically to understand certain information like invoice number, seller name, address, invoice ID, and so on. So this specific flow doesn't have the uh, large language model integration. So let's go back to our flow that we just ran, and it seems like it finished. And let's check the output of this flow as well. Um, so this is the same image I processed. Uh, so if I go down here, you'll see the ChatGPT uh, integration here, um, the output. Uh, so what you can see here is it actually gave us uh, something. So it summarized basically this invoice. So it just gave us here in the output. It's actually pretty interesting. You could, uh, uh, you know, integrate uh, your uh, custom models with uh, with large language model and create really uh, complex and uh, useful uh, uh, workflows. So uh, we have also the option to correct uh, the, the output. So if you go to the review here section, you can select the document that you have processed. And then here, basically, you could simply review the data that has been extracted. And you can label directly on it if it's missing something or if there's a mistake. Uh, so let's say, for example, this is not correct here. Uh, I can simply right click and delete it and then correct it with the right label. Could be a price here. And that's it. So once you're done, you press validate. And then you go to the next document. Um, 
once the data is all validated, you could uh, export this data out. So you can download here and go to, uh, you have two options. We have the JSON and the Excel file. Um, and you can simply click on it and you will get the Excel file here shown. Um, yeah, please try it out. And if you have any questions, uh, please email us um, and enjoy. Thank you.